In this simple guide I'll show you how to screen mirror or share the display of your Windows PC or laptop with your Roku TV by wirelessly connecting them via screencast or by using a wired connection. Let's get started. First, let's see how you can screencast your Windows device to your Roku TV wirelessly. For that, both your computer and Roku TV should be on the same Wi-Fi. After that, go to your Windows PC and open the cast options. You can either do that by clicking here on your taskbar, then from there select cast, and if you don't see it, just tap on this pen icon, tap on add, and then select cast to add it to the list. Or you can open the cast option easily by pressing Windows K. Now that we're already connected to the same Wi-Fi, our Roku TV should be already visible. So we'll just click on it. You may see a prompt on your Roku TV on which you need to press on allow. And in a moment, your Windows PC will start screen mirroring on your Roku TV. By default, it will be on the duplicate mode, which will mirror your Windows PC's display. But if you want to use your Roku TV screen as a second display and expand your workspace, select extend mode. Now you can work separately on both the screens and move windows or apps between them. Lastly, if you only want to use your TV screen, then select second screen only to turn off your computer's display. So these are all the modes. And when you want to stop screen mirroring, you can just tap on disconnect on the cast options or exit from it using a remote's back button or home button. Now we will move to the second method, which is using HDMI cable. If you're using a cable, you won't have to worry about latency or Wi-Fi connection. Just connect the HDMI cable to your PC and TV's HDMI port, and voila, they will be connected instantly. Now to view your Windows device's display, just go to the HDMI input that your Windows device is plugged into. You'll have all the screen sharing modes here too. Just go to Windows Display Settings and switch between the same modes by expanding the drop-down menu. The only difference is you can turn off either of the displays here. Another advantage of wired connection is you can just go back to your TV's home screen while your Windows device is still connected and use your TV like you normally do as long as you don't disconnect the HDMI cable. So that's how you can screen mirror any Windows device to your Roku TV. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more.